Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockTarts.com. You are tuned into a video edition of The Mailbag, and today we're going to show you how to use RSI to identify overbought and oversold conditions. So the actual mailbag question was, which oscillators are good for identifying overbought and oversold conditions? And basically it boils down to the fact that there are two types of oscillators. You have bound oscillators and unbound. The bound oscillators are like RSI and stochastic oscillator. They fluctuate between 0 and 100. It cannot exceed those boundaries. The unbound oscillators are like MACD or rate of change. They can go up and down and they don't have boundaries that prevent them from going to extremes you haven't seen before. So this means that RSI and the stochastic oscillator, the two bound oscillators, are good for identifying overbought and oversold levels. Now, here's an example using the relative strength index, which is RSI. First thing to note is I'm using 5 period RSI instead of 14 period. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want a more sensitive indicator. 14 period RSI does not produce very many overbought and oversold signals, whereas 5 period RSI produces dozens within a six month period. Now, the second thing to notice is you need to keep in mind the direction of the overall trend. Okay, and you can see here that there's a clear uptrend from August until the end of February. And during that uptrend, you had numerous overbought readings and you had a few oversold readings. And the point is basically you want to identify the trend because you want to look for oversold readings in an uptrend and you want to look for overbought readings in a downtrend. Because the overbought readings in an uptrend do not produce good signals. You want to look for the pullbacks and the way you do that is looking for oversold readings. Now the final thing to keep in mind is you can become oversold in an uptrend and remain oversold. So you need some sort of signal to suggest that the oversold reading has ended and you're about to continue higher and turn up. And with RSI, you can do that by looking for a break above 50. And so the green arrows show oversold conditions and the dotted line shows when you break above 50. Now all the signals aren't great. We just moved below 50, sorry, below 30 here to become oversold and then above 50 and that didn't trigger a good signal as a whipsaw. But you got a good signal here in the second week of October, a pretty good one here in November. Uh, okay signal in December, a good one there in January. Now one more thing to keep in mind is if you don't wait for that signal, you'll see that sometimes you can become oversold and remain oversold. And that's what happened here in early March. We were oversold, but we were waiting for a confirmation that the oversold conditions had ended and we were turning up with a move above 50. But that did not happen. And instead, we moved back below 30 two more times and remained oversold as this pullback extended. So you need to look for some sort of turnaround. All right, that concludes this video edition of the Mailbag. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.